get up and go so we wait. This is us. card of my ID to the uh to the card of my ID and the gate right here is AP terminals driver's license and all that good stuff. I give it to whoever the hell it is. So I'm trying to have this conversation. I'll still get these guys out of the way. Sometimes they want to. Sometimes they're standing out here in a quiet car. Hold on one second. If you and your way you guess that tonight. I got it right here. You need me to put it all right now? Yeah, please. All right. There you go. Alright, how you doing tonight, my brother? Great. That's good. I'll come here this. Stay home. I know that's right. I know that's right. You're supposed to be. When you're on your game, you can't fuck with you. So I learned to be on my game. Alright, my brother. I'll catch you later. Take care, alright? Rectangle looking things, those are actual cranes that they use to ride up between the stacks and pick it up, pick, pick up a container off the stack and drop it on the back of your uh, 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 chassis that you have. And this is the entrance right here. I don't know if these things are the X-ray, I think they are the X-ray machines. Hell out of you while you're driving. This is my up so y'all can hear me. Okay. Like I said, this is APM terminal. Follow this pathway around. I'm gonna come to the kiosk, which is right over there. So keep going, keep going, and turn, find a gate. There's a bunch of them. 
So you gotta stay, stay behind anybody if you want to. And they're wide open at night. This is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Wide open. Coming up to the gates, they're all green lights. And right here, let's see, I'm pretty sure you saw that sign where it says unlock pins between the barriers. And these things are the barriers. So I'm gonna pull up. That's what you always do. You don't do try not to do this anywhere else. But you pull up right here. Set the phone down for a minute. I gotta get out. And undo the pins. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Up this part right here comes out. Okay. You have four of them. There's two in the front, two in the back. And this is the switch right here. That's the pin right up in there. That's the lock, I should say. But that's the chassis lock. But right here, this thing right here. You lift that up. Swing it out. See how that works? See how that works? Okay. Go over here, do the same thing. Oh, and by the way, to the back of this container, this chassis, all the lights are working. They got mud flaps, DOT bars, all that stuff. Make sure you inspect all of that stuff before you even move this thing. Okay? You get, you know, if you get pulled over or something like that, they're going to give you the ticket, not the company. And... You know, just make sure everything is locked up. Make sure your tires are okay. Like when you're first picking these things up. Because I got to do a training video on that too. But, uh, same thing right here. See that? See that? You lift that up. Pull that out. See? See how that works. Go up here and do the front one. Most uh, chassis locks are like that. Some of them are slightly different, but you, it's very simple if you've never even seen them before to kind of like get an idea how to work them. So lift this little thing up right here, and you pull that to that handle right there. You pull that handle forward. I check always like in between here. There's no like, you can't see it properly on this thing. You can usually see like the little bar that I slid out. You can see it, you know, in, if, it's, if the chassis is locked, you can still see it. You see like the little bar. And that's about it for the chassis. So, give me a second, hop back in the truck. All right, I got my paperwork now. Uh, paperwork, just a piece of paper with the appointment number. You know, it has appointment number, the uh, truck number, and the container number. So I'm gonna pull up now to the chassis. I mean, to the chassis. Pull up now to the kiosk, and um, I'll let the people up there. And it says, Welcome to Pier 400. My paperwork right here. Welcome to Pier 400. Press call button. I guess I didn't have to press call button. You saw me coming here. But anyway, this ticket just came out of here. That's said they just slid out. And they're really efficient about that. I was about to give them my information, but they saw me coming and they just pretty much get me out their face. So that's a good thing. Cause I, want, I don't want to be in their face. But, you know, like I said, this place is pretty efficient. 
right, it's telling me to go to tail lanes 1 to 39. And I believe, I forgot what tail actually means, but it's like the part of the port that's automated. So it's extremely efficient. You ain't got to worry about people taking their lunch breaks and you having to sit around for two hours waiting for them to get back because it's all, it's automated. It's a, um, it's automated. It's a bunch of big uh, cranes. Well, they're not as big as the other ones I showed you before. Those big rectangular looking things. But they're on wheels. They're mobile. They run them. They roll around. <clears throat> and um, they, you know, pick up, they pick up your stuff. You back up into the, uh, what you call it? And the crane will come out. You have to get out your truck. The crane will come out. And while you're out your truck, in a, under like a protective booth, inside a protective booth. So that's, the, uh, that's where we just came from. All right. See how these stacks of containers are right here? That's what I said, those big rectangular looking cranes. They roll down like a, a stack, like this stack right here in front of me. Those rectangular looking cranes would fit on each side of that stack and go up and down that stack. And um, then they would have a truck, you know, um, they would have a truck like waiting right alongside the stack. And the crane would go around the stack and the truck. And you would get your stuff like that. It's pretty cool, it's pretty efficient. Let me go this way. I think I'm going the right way. I hope I am. See one of the big cranes down there, man. Them automated cranes moving around with the red lights on it. But this is one way to go. There's the other way to go. I promise. Something the trucks. And that's another one of those top loaders, like you saw on the at the other port, at the Houston port. They do the same thing. It was an empty. You just drive under it, pick it up, and then go put it on the stack. And um, for right here. Go down to, to tail. I'm trying to remember what tail stands for. T E L. Uh, I don't know. I guess I might have to ask somebody about that. But that's the rest of the area, the port area. And they've always sent me to tail ever since I've been coming in here, which is good. I'm cool with that. But you still have regular cranes, like I showed you before, that are. Uh, 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 manually handled by by a person, and um, you know, like I said, those dudes be like taking breaks. Oh, that's what it is. Truck exchange lanes. Truck exchange lanes. That's what tail means. Truck exchange lanes. Truck exchange lanes. I to keep that in my head. See, that's one of the cranes right there moving. See right there. One of the automated ones. Nothing's driving. It's driving itself. There's a whole lot of sensors and I guess lasers on it too to tell it where it's going or to make it sure it don't run over nobody. This is nice, man. This is wide open tonight. It's not like this. Um, well, last time I came through, it was kind of busy. Time before that, I got in and out pretty quick. But these things, these automated the cranes, they really help out, man. They really help out. Everything efficient. Keep going, keep going. I told you, man, these ports are big, man. Like 700 something acres, I think this one is. Maybe it's Phoenix, one of them, I don't know. These places are huge. Gotta be like that to house these ships and these containers. All of this commerce, you know, going all over the place. This is a charging station. I don't know, this is one of the tail lanes also. I gotta talk to this dude in that truck right there, that little pickup truck. See? It's one of the containers. I mean, uh, it's operated. That's uh, one of the automatic uh, cranes. No, 
Well, this guy right here in his pickup is going to tell me where I need to go. I just got to pull up right next to him. You see where this truck is backing in at? Those are all the lanes. I got to go to one of those lanes. I got to back in like these dudes are doing. He's got a number. How you doing? Good. Any lane you want. Any lane? Yeah, anywhere. Oh, okay. I guess the um the cranes will figure out who I am. Yeah, they'll they'll, they'll know about that. Oh, they'll know about the RFID tag. Yeah. As long okay. as you got your uh, your ticket right. Yeah, yeah. As long as it says like MTN load out or just MTN. No, just MTN. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So usually the MPs don't take long. Usually. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. No, that's cool. I man, this shit is better than waiting for somebody to get back off their lunch break. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks, bro. I appreciate it. any lane I want just like he was saying these things they read everything the RFID tag right here this is the thing that lets you get you into the port as long as it's active you know I had some trouble with that thing before and um, but they tie they tie in everything man these things it's all I mean they have technicians um, you know just in case something goes down or in case you actually do have to talk to somebody you know they'll guide you just hit like a little button I'll show you when we get out but um, it's fine, you know, but um, yeah, but for the most part, these things are all automated, man. It's uh, all they show. I'm going down to like one of the, uh, one of the uh, booths or openings. See how like these guys are standing here? That's what I'm gonna be doing in a few minutes. And this is all green lights right here, so I can take any, any one of these. But I make it easy on myself, like I tell everybody, if you make it easy on yourself as a drug driver, do it. Right where that stop sign is flashing right up there. It's an opening, that's where everybody exits out at. So I'm gonna, since I have to back into these things, I'm gonna go to this opening, pull all the way up as, as far as I can get out in the opening so I can back straight back into these things because they're really tight spaces. And I wish I could like film it, but I can't do that not while I'm driving. So give me a minute, I'll be right back. All right, we're back. I just backed into the spot. See, they have signs that tell you how far to back in, get back up to that white line right there. I'll get past it, I should say. Um, see all these sensors and all that type of stuff, cameras. So I'm gonna get out. I already got everything unhooked. It's pretty simple. So I backed in over here. Get back into the spot. Actually, I backed in pretty easily this time. So I come out here. I stand in this little area right here. I stand on this platform. It's like a weight. It's like a little tell you that you, I don't know, fat or something, I don't know. So there's both feet on pad. Once you stand on this platform, see? It automatically close the gates on its own. I'm not doing any of that. And, uh, now we just basically gotta wait for one of the cranes to come. That means that there's everything is operation. Do not step off this pad or that gate's gonna open back up. See how the back gates open up back there? Back gate, got yeah, it moving. So a crane's coming through any minute now. But the wheels have to get through that back gate, and that's one back there, and there's one on the other side of the truck. You just can't see it from this angle. So, yeah, man. See those, what I was calling bomb cards? that thing is towing a little hostler, towing that. They go out to the actual ship and those big cranes I was telling you about, like, a, I don't know if you can see it, that light kind of bright. But see like that, that long line of lights, that's that's the big, that right there, that's the big crane. And they actually unload the ships. That's a crane with all that, that structure with all those lights on it. They actually unload the ship. And those little bomb carts. They take those little bomb, those those weird yard house looking things. They take those bomb carts out to the ship because the truck, regular trucks aren't allowed to go back there. And they unload the ship one cart at a time and they go real fast too. See? The guys are all over the place getting their hustle on. There's another one. Two of them. Yes, sir. And they'll load the ship back up. That's what that top loader's doing. So you 
least loading the bomb part up. Just taking that container back to the ship. It might be empty, it might be loaded, who knows? See, there's always a watchful person, like for safety reasons, standing by. Yeah. A whole lot of money flowing through here. Whole lot. Yeah, I'm gonna stop it for right now until the crane comes by. Okay, this crane that's coming up right now, he may be mine. I don't know. If he is, I'm filming. If he ain't, I'm stopping and waiting for mine to come through. See that crane back there? Moving that, holding that container in his, in his jaws. That's what they do, man. It's all automated. See? Yeah, I think this guy's for me. Yeah. Yeah, here we go. Watch this this automatic um, crane pick up the container. Blue lights flashing, saying that the on the low unloaded is in motion. See how the wheels got to come between those um, that day with the wheels. driving that. That thing in the middle with the hazard stripes on it, that's the actual thing that's going to pick up the container. Back gate's gonna close, chassis is gone now. So the back gate is gonna close, I'm gonna get a close up of it. Don't lose this ticket, even though you're done, don't lose this ticket because you have to go, you have to use this to get out of the gate, at the out gate, and that's where we're headed to right now. Load 
tudo dá lá. So now I'm gonna show you how to get out of here. Stop sign right Like I said, this is the exit from all these roads. This is the exit right here. Come out. This is for everybody that's exiting. Got a hangar uh, right coming on out of there. Just driving, going down, driving. All that good stuff. Speed bump. Some motors, automated cranes. There's one moving right there. These people. I think these are like the actual, like some technicians those cranes because it's like a like a, a yard that looks like a repair yard or something like that but these cranes so um, I don't know I think I saw something with it let's make a pretty good little buck I think they said they're using these things all the way over in Japan I think that's when they first started using them see the sign says terminal exit so I'm gonna follow this all the way around Taking lunch breaks and crap like that. Yeah. You still have to worry about the breaking down, though. That would suck. Where we started from, from the uh, automated lines. I just made a wrong turn. I turned was left too quickly. Should have went all the way up to the edge of the fence. It's been a little while since I've been in here. I don't remember every single detail, but I will now. All right. Let's try that one more again. Wrong turn, not so slow, like the sign said. Here at the stop sign, should have went past this this first left and made the second one. But it was yellow uh, concrete things are at with the number letters and numbers on them. So turn right there, turn right here this time. All the way up to the fence. These letters, these, these little concrete, I forgot what they call these things. But, uh, yeah. All the way around here. All the way along the fence, that's how you get out. Ability right now. That's just all ocean over there. That's all harbor. It's dark right now, so you can't really see the water. What that hill, that barrier right there is kind of blocking it too. But yeah, that's all harbor over there. And this is road ability. See how they wide open? There's a bunch of this stuff out here. I mean, it's a bunch of lanes. Just pick one. Pick a green lane. Go through it. Like I was telling you about the other ports, as as is with all the ports. You know, since I'm using a flexivan chassis, it's not a port chassis it's a uh, private chassis or an owned chassis that's what they call them owned if you ever uh, come to the kiosk or if you ever make an appointment it's gonna ask you like any port any port or do this it's gonna ask you do you own your chassis or is it like a pool chassis and you want if, if you if it's a flexi van you want to say it's an own chassis O W N own like you as in you own it pool chassis go with the motor pool of the ports 
That's where that comes from. About the roadability, it is slow out here tonight, man. It's crazy. It's good for me. It's quick money. This dude right here, he ain't gonna even pay attention to me. But I will, like I said, I always stop just in case. I always stop at the stop signs just in case. Yep, like I said, he waved me on. Ain't they business? Ain't they pork? I mean, it ain't they chassis? It ain't they business? And just like with all the other ports. to go through security on the way out too. So you can pick a lane, whatever one you can fit in. So I can fit in both of them. And this is like for the x-ray machine. It's like x-ray and if I had a container it would be x-raying it. And this one coming up just like all the other ports. Same set same setup. This is all about uh uh homeland security. It's not necessarily about the well it's about the ports but I think homeland security sets these things up. This right here this is for homeland security well, the x-ray machine for Homeland Security also, but this is, um, I guess, like, they take, like, all your information off your truck, take a picture of you and all this other kind of stuff. And if that light was blue, I would have had to pull up to where that Jeep is at. In that little booth, that's Homeland Security. Somebody from Homeland Security was hanging out up in there. But it was a green light, so, you know, just got to keep going. And that's for, like, see that sign right there? Customs and Border Inspection. There's a second, see this lane right here. This is what I, if that light was blue, I would've had to pull up into that lane with the blue barriers. Have a secondary inspection. So, this is the actual exit gate that we're coming up on now. right here now if I had a container I would get past this little speed bump that orange cone you just saw go all the way up to about right hold on you back you can vaguely see the word stop on the ground but like right here with the speed bump is that stop right here if I had a container I get out the truck right now and um I get out the truck right now and tighten up my uh locks my chassis locks on a container, tighten them up, like I said, one in each corner, but that ain't the case, so I ain't got it, so keep going, see the sign, lock pins between K-rails only, and I was just between the K-rails, that's what I call those little barriers, here, now I'm supposed to take that ticket, right here, and slide it into this kiosk right here, because that arm is down, so, please scan your ticket. So, I'm supposed to do that. I don't know what idiot put this up in here. I'm scanning the ticket, and that arm is supposed to come up. Sometimes it may take a minute, but now, then it's perfect.
what's going on. That's a good training right here. Find the problem, see what's going on. Purpose for future endeavors. So on seaport. It's all the same port, all that stuff, man. It's all the same port I was just in. Custom sound three. Custom sound three. Man, what are you talking about? Let me stop this for right now until like somebody comes on and opens this thing for me. Okay, the arm went up. Uh, get started. Okay. All right. The arm went up. Somebody just popped up on a microphone and said, you're good to go, driver. Thank you. And the arm went up. They didn't tell me what happened while I was stuck there. So it wasn't something with me more than likely. It was something probably going on on their side. Maybe the person went to the bathroom. I don't know. Something. So, so this is the exit. Coming out this way. And there's some water. That's a bay. Or a harbor. Whatever the hell you want to call it. Wouldn't go swimming in it. Not on purpose anyway. Alright. We'll go back up this way. Get to cut your lights back on. It's nice. Good chill environment, chill scenery. Anyway, I'll show you how to get out of here. I think that's their main building, one of their main buildings right here. And this is, I think, another entrance gate. Is this? No, that's not the gate I came in. It's like another gate something I think for maybe bobtails I don't know but um this is the way out so it's gonna put us back on that long street in a second so that entrance I came in and the exit I came out of they're not even close to each other because I just drove that long path over there to get down to the TEL area and I also have railroad tracks up in here that's what this is right here in front of us Fishy out here. Okay, we'll go with a few speed bumps. Now, this street that I'm on right now, this is the part of that really long street that we were going down when we first came in. But this is actually a lot longer. See, so I when I, where I got off at, let me roll the windows up. Yeah, the street's a lot longer. It's a part of that street, that long street we came down when we first came in here. So where I got off at was only halfway of that long street. This is like the other half. You know, I think it's about, uh, yes, yeah, about roughly the same length. So it's a pretty long street. Like this is what you have to try. You have to travel the full length of that street when you're exiting. This bridge that we're coming up to. I didn't cross that bridge when we first came into it. I actually went under it. No, not under it, on the side of it. And that's the entrance right over there. I'll show you right now. See? That's where we came in at. See where those trucks are going? So they're hitting that uh, right turn. That's where we came in at. And that's the kiosk booths right over there. So yeah, the exit and the entrance is two different things. Not, not close, well, of course they're two different things, they're just not close to each other, that's what I meant to say. Now we're gonna go drop the chassis off, go we'll grab the other container, and bring it back down to Houston. So, hope this was helpful.
There's a lot of money in this place, man. A heck of a lot. Each one of those containers is a nice little piece of change. And that's where the talkative security guard is at. So yeah, we good. We are out. Okay, okay. Catch you on the next one.